Over the last 4 years, Valorant's agent roster has grown to over 20 agents, and while all of them are pretty good, some just aren't being played as much. I did a quick dive to see who the most unpopular agents were, and the winner was... Yeah, it's this guy. To figure out why, I spent 10 hours playing Harbor in competitive to see why he's the most unpopular agent in Valorant. Before we get into it though, let me put some rules and goals. 1. I'm only gonna be able to play ranked. So, teammates, I'm sorry. 2. I'm gonna try to rank up to Immortal. 3. I'm gonna try to get a match MVP. And last, but not least, I can only play Harbor. So, any other agent is a no-go. And if I can't play it, I gotta dodge. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Time to play the best character in the game, bro. Holy shit. Playing Harbor. In the first hour, I didn't know what I was expecting, really. I wasn't expecting to do good, but I wasn't expecting to do bad either. It's just the problem was, I don't know how to play Harbor. What? Last player standing. Bruh. Oh, wait. Thank you. Oh my good god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, bro. I'm doing so Thanks bad. Thanks for good. <laughs> I'm radiant. Oh my god. This guy was... What the f***? I'm D3, man. I don't know how to smoke with him. I don't know what his abilities really do. And to be honest, I haven't played ranked in a long time. So when I say I didn't know what I was expecting, I really didn't know what I was expecting. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this first game nearly took up an hour. Literally, it was that crazy. Not only is this my first ranked game in a long time, I don't play this champion, I don't play Harbor. So every time I died or we lost a round, I felt genuinely bad. I didn't know what to say to my teammates. Damn, first game, and <laughs> it's so close, and I'm just <laughs> bottom fragging them, so... But in the end, they were pretty chill, so they kind of let me slide, you know, I kind of got, you know, I kind of got carried. <laughs> 39, 39, nice, good trip! Oh my god. GG, boy. <laughs> Look how close this game is! We're only, this is the first game, man, it was so close already, holy shit. You see, after this first game, I realized a couple of things. First of all, I gotta learn how to control his signature ability, High Tide. Okay. This ability is kind of weird, because I don't know how far it's gonna go, but when I say I kept f***ing this wall up, I meant it, and I felt so bad. And two, my positioning is so ass. I don't know how to position with this character, let alone where I'm supposed to stand so I can line my smokes up properly. And three, what the f*** is his Q? I did not use his Q once. Maybe I did, but honestly, I don't remember using it more than three times. So with all of that in mind, I went into the next couple of games with some expectations. And let's just say... Eh... Uh, uh. The only four agents I played are picked. You play Harbor? The Harbor's the GOAT. Wait, we found we found him, guys. <laughs> Wait, we found him. We found him. A guy who plays Harbor. That first game really had me feeding for a good game. Not only on Harbor, but in general. In the second hour, things were looking pretty good. Yeah, I was still kind of making some really dumb decisions, but it felt like I was more locked in than ever. One's up, boat. Split, I think. Be me, I think. Just gotta go. Just, just gotta go heaven. One enemy remaining. That's gotta be one. I think he's playing. He's the 25 enemy. Nice. Nice. Up heaven. Most of my shots were hitting, and I didn't feel like a total piece of shit to my teammates. And the way I was using my abilities was pretty good. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you telling me I was actually using his Q this time? I figured the best way to learn how to use an ability is just spam it a bunch of times to see what works and what doesn't. And before I knew it, I already crossed off another goal on my list. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. 
Match MVP! Hold the phone. We did it. We got him. Oh, boom. There's your match MVP. Things were perfect. Until... You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. Yeah, not gonna lie, these were some pretty dark times. The losses started piling up, and my mental state was just completely shattered. It felt like I was stuck in a slump. I was just playing worse and worse and worse every single game. Maybe it was because I was tired, or maybe it was because I was playing this dog But despite the losses, I started getting comfortable with Harbor's kit. I started using his abilities without really having to think about it too much, and well yeah, I guess it's a pretty good sign, but I knew I had to change something up. So for the next hour, I went on a little training arc. So, you wanna play Harbor like a pro, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. You see, with my frustration, I hopped on YouTube looking for all the Harbor tips and tricks that I needed to know to master this motherfucker. And after searching for an hour, I've learned a lot of information. From guides to pro player VODs, I've summed it all down to the simplest term that I could think of. BBC. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? Let me explain. First of all, most of Harbor's kit should be used to section the map and block the enemy from gaining valuable information. Second, after blocking the enemy from certain areas of the map, you're now forcing them to either react with the use of their own abilities or maybe even player rotations. Thus, in the end, you're now in control of the map. Let's play out a scenario. Pretend you're on offense on split and your team wants to take control of ground. Well, with the knowledge of BBC, you can do just that. With a quick wall like this, you have successfully sectioned off the map, giving your team space to play around with, blocking your enemy from knowing what the next play is, and forcing them to react or give up that space completely. And congrats, you've successfully used BBC. Oh my god, I get it. So what did I really learn? That map control is king. Most of the people that I watch playing Harbor really like to isolate and control the map, making it seem like the enemy has no room to play around with, which is actually pretty cool when you think about it. So with a bit of time alone in customs, and my newfound knowledge, I went and played as many games as I could with a fresh mind for the last few hours. Here's a quick montage. Baby, 30, 30 close. Fun. My turn. 52 solo. Oh, yeah. Dead. One enemy remaining. Woo! Good playing. Let's fucking go, card. Go either way. So, after 10 hours, the challenge was finally over. 
Sadly, I couldn't hit Immortal, but I did end up ranking to Ascendant 2, which is still a win in my book. And I think it's safe to say that I now understand why Harbor has such a low pick rate. He's dog sh**. Imagine me beating the crap out of you. In all seriousness, in my opinion, it's not because he sucks or anything. It's just that it's really hard to get the value out of his kit. I also think that in a ranked perspective, his kit is not very self-sufficient, making you have to rely on your teammates to make use of your kit. And good luck trying to do that. You see, if you're not someone who's trying to go pro, I don't really see the point in picking up Harbor. Spending the time and energy learning him over a traditional controller like Omen or Viper just doesn't seem worth it. For instance, when you're put in a position to fill for smokes, players will most likely not even think about choosing Harbor, and will opt for an easier and simple smoke agent like maybe Brimstone. With that being said, I actually found myself enjoying Harbor. His playstyle is unique, and learning how to play him was a fun task to get around, and was rewarding once I knew what to do. If I had to give a tip, I'd say find a duo who can play Flash Agents. Yes, it seems really obvious, but Harbor excels with Agents abilities, and you can really stomp games with a coordinated duo. But to wrap all of this up, just try to play Harbor. I don't know, maybe you'll like playing him. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like this type of content, and comment down below what you think of Harbor, and I'll see you next time. Peace.